It is the 9th of June, 1943. The strategically important city of Minsk has fallen. That means the northern flank of the Soviet encirclement is now supplied, and in the rain and mud of the summer season, the second motorized is getting ready, just waiting for fuel and ammunition, and is getting ready to uh, finally close the gap around Army Group Center, wipe out a large part of the German of the German fighting force, including several uh, several Panzer divisions and several uh, heavy artillery pieces, and. Uh, we, and to cl basically uh, turn the tide permanently in our favor. As usual, we're going to have to have a quick look what we're actually up to. Uh, I think one of, my, yeah, one of my agents is captured, one of them is hiding, uh, and I am finally doing, <laughs> doing cryptography. I completely forgot about that. Yep, yep, <laughs> you can laugh at me. I forgot that. Uh, we do have additional um, close air support, actually. Uh, that's a fighter wing. Uh, we've got uh, two close air support wings that we can bring to the front line because it's going to be all all in on that area now. And I think we had a couple more on a couple more in training somewhere, honestly. Uh, heavy fighters can train up. I don't really need an awful lot of these anymore. Uh, it's, it's at least not on on this front. Uh, fighter wings, we've got the scout planes here, and we've got 13, uh, 13 close air support wings. Uh, yep, that are, have taken a beating, some of them. Um, a lot of, a lot of air accidents have happened as well. How's our, yeah, we are, we are short on close air support planes, so I'm actually going to let the, let the stockpiles build up a little bit here. Um, we're still short on flame tanks, we're short on heavy tanks, uh, and short on Katyushas. But uh, we're currently busy constructing infrastructure towards the east to improve the situation over there. Because right now it doesn't look too bad. But um, let's have a quick look at the Asian theater and make sure that everybody here is actually trained. So they can do that while we're, while we're not busy. And uh, then we get back to the European theater, where the first motorized is returning to recover some strength, while the second motorized is getting ready to assault from the north. And we've got a couple more tank divisions. Uh, we can start training a couple more medium tank divisions as well. That would be nice. And just deploy them somewhere here. There we go. Four divisions of those. Uh, it will give them low priority. We do need the reinforcements at the moment at the front lines. And I think we can deploy... These are almost trained, right? What are they still missing? Oh, they, have all their, they have all their equipment. Uh, they're almost ready to be... They're almost, they're almost trained. So we may as well just uh, th throw these in. Uh, oh, these were... What is in the east? Oh, I think these were in the east. Where are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I actually that was a mistake. I thought these were in th these were in uh, deploying on the western front. Okay, so these guys actually go into the um, into a new. No, no. Uh, just these guys go into a new into a new army. And uh, we, I'm pretty sure we have an armored uh, armor officer. Yep. Uh, here you'll do. And these can train as well where they are. Okay, so these these were actually de deploying on uh, deploying in the east. Uh, I am going to change that deployment to Moscow. Actually, no, let's change the deployment to Minsk and deploy this unit. And they can uh, they can join uh, they can join the second motorized. There you go and instantly go on that front line and get ready for get ready for the operations here once the Minsk supply hub has actually been connected and it has and we are definitely going to need to upgrade that but uh, let's see uh, it's just the Minsk Smolensk railway uh, we definitely need to get that upgraded and uh, I think yeah okay they will switch 
So now hopefully the situation here will will get a little bit better supply wise. Um, doesn't quite look like. Well, we'll we'll see. So now that we have the Minsk supply hub, may maybe it's this it's this position here that's in the way. So let's try to um, let's try to evict the Germans from this forest here. And. Uh, and see if that sorts out the supply in the south. Well, they are swarming like bees around here, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, and the mar marine divisions are not quite ready yet to be thrown into battle, but uh, support that from the north, please. And let's see if we can... Uh, radio interception group is done. And... Let's keep going with that and just make sure that we are that we are attempting to take this uh, to take this forest off of them here and see if that sorts out our supply walls in the north and gets the um, there we go uh, position taken and we do need to we do need to upgrade the Minsk Smolensk railroad so once that's done I think we will start the assault from the north and hopefully. We will have sufficient supply here and we're also still waiting for the marines to be ready for the assault here. Well, given that uh, I think we might actually attempt, let's see what that looks like. I'm just kind of curious. Let's get the marines to attack and attack at the same time from the other side. How well are the marine divisions going to go across the river? Uh, obviously they are, uh, they are currently uh, I might ha I might have to okay let's stop that <laughs> I might have to actually let them recover their organization after training so let's stop the exercises here uh, get the marine divisions uh, recovered how's our railway construction in the north coming along almost done and we can get a couple more we can get a couple more uh, more things going here uh, this was this was another one of those decisions that allows me to merge plants uh, artillery production cost, uh, production efficiency cap, or factory out five percent factory output. I'll, ta I'll take it. So let's do that as well. And uh, we are still hoping that we're going to get the supply situation sorted out here. Uh, now that uh, once once the railway is constructed to Minsk, hopefully that gets a little better. So uh, that is uh, that needs to happen. Minsk, Smolensk, and Vitebsk, Minsk, and the marine divisions are almost recovered from their training exercises. Okay, this is we're still we're still short on supply. We're still sh still short on supply here. So I am going to dr withdraw the tanks. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my planning bonus, unfortunately. The tank divisions are just taking up too much supply by the looks of it. National Academies of Sciences are done. Nice. So now I should have more decisions. Yes, I can build Academies of Sciences. And um, that'll actually improve our research speed. So that's good. We'll, we'll keep doing that. And we'll see if we can... We'll see what we can do next. Again, I really don't want to do military reorg. I can just really... Uh, this needs military reorg. Uh, we, we do the adaptable army. Uh, just so I don't forget for the next uh, for the next winter. Because the next winter is for sure going to come. And Christ. we will attempt a river crossing assault with the marines Recordio. now. With uh, support from the other flank. And see if we can uh, if we can do something about this choke point. And the Marines are quite effective across the river. Uh, of course, they are under railway gun bombardment. We do have our own railway guns in the area, and they should have range to include this. And as such, we'll see if we can make this happen. Oh, we've got our own railway gun here as well. So we have we are assaulting the German positions from two from two sides, and uh, oh, BTR twos are finished. Nice. Instantly research. Oh no, BTR. Maybe we can just skip the two because 
gonna take too long anyway. Yeah, let's start researching these things. It's gonna take a while, but uh, we'll see if we can just skip the number twos. Okay, we should have sufficient supplies, so that means this is really all that we are gonna get. So I was going to uh, retreat the... No, I didn't want to retreat them. Okay, so despite having Minsk under control, we still don't have enough supply here. That is unfortunate for the for the second motorized. Because I was really hoping to be able, being able to close this. Um, in that in that in that case, what we'll do is we'll launch the assault here, and these tanks as well. And at the same time, we will get uh, some of the first, some of the first motorized divisions. I've got a new job for you, so let's delete your fallback line. Uh, first motorized, you will, you will attempt to break, uh, to widen the front lines along these lines here, and push towards Pinsk. There we go. We'll see if we can. We we'll see if we can make a breakthrough here, because this is uh, this is still open terrain, and uh, and maybe um, maybe link up uh, maybe link up with the the southern force whenever it becomes available. Yeah, unfortunately, supply is as usual difficult, and in that case, we will instantly uh, tack here along the river line. And see how that goes. Some more tanks. More tanks, please. Uh, no, attack in the north, please. Not there. The north. But yeah, supply obviously is our problem. And we will focus the assaults. Uh, we get these tanks towards the northern area and the assault there. Let's see if let's see if first motorized can make something happen here in, in this area and uh, break through break th through some of these positions here but uh, again it's swamp it's difficult and uh, even even without even outside the swamp we are we are struggling to break through um, how is our river assault going still ongoing let's keep supporting the attack but um, it looks yeah so this assault has failed Let's pull. Okay, we have to pull the. Uh, we'll have to pull the first, uh, the second motorized back. And uh, they they are just too too much out of supply. Uh, radio interception group is done. And just increase that. And while you're at it, I think we'll have factories available soon. I would like to have a couple more. A couple more civilian factories. Uh, how are we? 211. That's not bad. Um, let's just build eight here and another couple there. And then we build uh, more military factories in the areas where it makes sense. All right. So, yeah, that, that assault, once again, struggling to make anything happen. And it looks like while the... While the uh, well, the marine divisions are pretty good. Uh, they're still struggling on river river crossing assaults into uh, into into marshland. Uh, we'll send the uh, we'll, we'll try to send the second motorized over and see if that makes any difference. But uh, it remains. Yeah. Oh, uh, did, did they get supply? Oh, I think they're starting to get supply. Hang on, hang on a minute. Uh, how's our supply situation? Okay, let's send the okay. Let's send the second motorized to Minsk to get supply. Yeah, I think this river crossing attack isn't going to happen here, uh, despite the fact that we have marine divisions which are specialized in this sort of thing. Uh, it's just literally too many, too many, uh, too many Germans, uh, too many Germans there. So let's get back to uh, training up the marine divisions. Maybe they just need a bit more training. Okay, let's make that happen. We've got three military factories. What are we short on? Uh, oh, we we have problems with uh, with uh, with materials at this point. Um, 
And it looks like we are running a little short on the tanks, really. Uh, yeah, medium tanks, heavy tanks. So the, the medium tank losses are, are starting to mount. So I think we are going to increase the production of the uh, increase the production of the T thirty four eighty fives. There we go. And see if that makes a difference. Okay, tanks. Uh, second motorized is refueling in Minsk. And. Uh, and once that's done, we will we will attempt another break through uh, the southern lines here. And I think the first motorized has faltered here in the south. Yes. So what we'll do instead is we'll we'll pull back again the first motorized. Uh, this is not happening. We don't have enough supply. We'll pull them back from the front line. Uh, that offensive has failed. There's no way we're breaking through this uh, through these German defensive positions there. Instead, uh, we are going to tr we are going to send the Marines instead of trying to break through here. Uh, we are going to send the Marine divisions onto a front line here, and see if the infantry can make it across. Uh, these the specialist uh, six uh, six division special forces offensive line take this position. I think given that uh, it's swamp anyway, the tanks are not doing extremely well. Uh, we can we can send uh, we can send some of the we, we've got the NKVD divisions which aren't doing anything useful right now. Uh, who, where are they actually? Um, is it these guys? Yeah. So we can get the NKVD divisions to uh, to hold the line here for now. And that uh, would probably free up a couple of divisions. Uh, and that means we can we can extend the front line here and get a couple more divisions. Uh, let's extend it even further. Let's extend it here. Get a couple more divisions uh, for for a southern thrust uh, lined up. And because the the tanks the tanks will stay in Minsk for now. And and refuel. And they are a little bit under strength as well, so we'll, we'll wait and see how that works out. Uh, waiting for the Marine Divisions to arrive to try the river crossing in the south. And uh, these guys, what's your uh, supply status? 48%. Uh, Not great. <laughs> and I suspect, yeah, Minsk is now overloaded. So again, we need to we need to improve the uh, improve the uh, the supply lines towards Minsk. That is priority. Uh, we've got our final doctrine available, which is going to give us uh, which is going to give us Orclos when moving twenty minus twenty five percent and plus five percent reinforce. That is good. Especially the continuous offensive sounds like what we want to do. Especially the reinforcement is good. Uh, how's the air situation? We've got uh, we've got some I believe we've got some more yeah these are standing by at this point so they need to go onto close air support as well and we've got uh, 1,500 support planes in the air now at this point to to help out with uh, to help out with operations we are we are a bit short getting a little short on fuel. But uh, we are improving the improving the mining operations as well, so that's all good. All right. So, uh, unfortunately, again, we don't have any opportunities here. However, this is a planes. This is a planes tile, so we can send the second motorized trying to take that, and then widen the front here, assist with the assault, and we're going to get. Uh, Everybody here to start uh, to start attacking south as well, and we will see if we will see if that's uh, if that's going to if that's going to help with um, with these with these assaults here, and we can assist with the infantry here. Let's see if we can make a breakthrough here in the north and uh, make something happen with the infantry. 
but uh, yeah, even even with the infantry, the it looks like these divisions are actually not too bad either. So let's pull some out of Minsk and send them south uh, to join the offensive here, and see if we can if we can make a breakthrough there. Uh, marine divisions are getting ready for an assault on the south. And uh, that should be sufficient in terms of firepower as well to get across the river, maybe. We'll see. But it looks like the tank divisions should be able to... Why are we river crossing? This is not a river crossing, is it? Okay, hang on. Oh, okay, no, no. That's not how I want you to do this. Go, go there and then there. Okay, stop that. And there, that's much better. That's not a river crossing. There we go. Okay, and then we will just widen the front lines with an additional assault from the north. And here we are going to throw our divisions in the breach as much as we can and try to force uh, force the assault here. And these tank divisions, once they break through, will assist here as well. Uh, marine divisions are not yet not yet regular trained, but getting there. And we've got uh, got some more divisions here. Throw them in the breach. Everybody on the on the offensive here. Uh, yep, you too. Unfortunately, we we can't get more than three divisions actually on the offensive. But uh, we will just keep we will keep relentlessly assaulting them here. And assist here from the north. A decryption, more decryption tech is done. Um, okay, yes, we've got the political power to do the. Uh, does it matter which one I'm building? Uh, Tuva National Academy of Science. National Academy of Science. That sounds like a good one. We'll start with that. Okay. Uh, we've made the breakthrough here. Tanks are running low on fuel. But uh, that's fine. We are just pushing now from two directions. And that means, I think, at this point, the... Uh, come on, get the marine divisions trained up, please. Uh, once the marine divisions are sufficiently trained, we will uh, we will do a two-pronged assault, both from the north, trying to... Uh, which means we are actually going to keep the momentum going here, because maybe we can actually make it from the north. Uh, that's trained enough, to be honest. Let's stop the training, get them ready, and... Uh, we will keep throwing divisions into the breach here. The tanks are attacking from, from the side. And I think we will manage to break uh, Guderian's defenses here. So uh, go, f go second motorized. And I think that might actually be almost enough to break through them here. Uh, Chukov, still, Chukov is still trying to dislodge uh, von Witzleben's remaining defenders here. But uh, we can start a pinning attack here, uh, just to make sure that these uh, these divisions don't move out. And we will try to break through. Meanwhile, the marines are going to start the assault from the south. And please, all the marine divisions uh, attack from the south. And we'll get fire support from everybody else who's there and in a position to do so. So hopefully uh, these marine divisions can cross the river, break von Manstein's infantry here in the south, and we'll see what happens. Uh, no, Polish Republic, you're not getting anything. Uh, keep, keep the assault going here, please. And these as well. Everybody, please, onto the front lines here. I know you don't have any supply, but we do need, we need to get the Germans out of these positions. Uh, is essential. So all of second motorized uh, keep the attack going, and uh, these infantry divisions as well need to. No, 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 no. Here, no, no, no. Here, and then here. No. Stop. Stop the assault there, and then there. Thank you. Uh, that means the tanks are now going to assist here again. And we'll see if we can break through these darn marsh defenses. Because it's been going on for way too long. Uh, we bring all the air force we can. We try to bring in reserves, but they are exhausted. Uh, the assault from the south against 
36 German divisions on this line is probably not going to happen. Okay. Um, we will... S okay, stop the, stop the attacks. Uh, this isn't going to work. So stop the assault here. Stop the assault here. Uh, why do... What do I have... What the... What? No, 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 no. Not all of you. <laughs> no, halt. I need the mountain divisions up north. That's that's where they belong. No, the uh, the marine divisions. Those guys. Okay. Um, so, uh, stop the assault. Uh, stop the assaults across the river. Not happening. What we'll try instead is getting uh, getting. S let's let's select half. Uh, let's get nine divisions here and see if they can make a breakthrough uh, a breakthrough towards that side because from here we have a better chance of uh, of breaking them so at the same time we're going to get second motorized uh, once again uh, back to Minsk uh, just to to refuel because there's not enough fuel at the front and then we will do another attempt here uh, provided we can actually break use first motorized to break through there then uh, that would be something we can do. Okay, decisions available. And uh, anything else that's really good or are they all the same? I think they are all the same. So I'm just going to keep building those. Uh, okay, all my spies are back. That is nice. So can we please work on, can we please work on uh, intelligence networks again across the area? and make sure that we are sufficiently knowledgeable about what's going on in this in this region here. All right, you go to Bessarabia. Okay. Ah. All right. Let's see if the let's see if the first motorized can make anything happen here. We are obviously going to supply support that with um, uh, support that with uh, general infantry assault once the the tank divisions are engaged. And uh, where did I send the? Where did I send second motorized? Oh yeah, I'm sending them back to Minsk. <sighs> to Minsk to refuel. If you could please uh, move back to Minsk. Okay, uh, we've got the tanks engaged, uh, infantry engaged as well. So we've got uh, we've got a bunch of tank divisions uh, engaged here. And we will see if we can manage to push uh, von Manteuffel out of these swamp areas here. Uh, this is a different. Oh, this is a different air zone. That's very unfortunate. Which means we are temporarily going to cover that air zone. Okay, let's see if we can make that happen. And then we'll try to close the gap here. If we can break them here, that is. And it looks like. Uh, Unfortunately, we only get three three divisions in. But uh, if we can if we can throw the German divisions off quickly enough, then uh, that would be that would be something we can do. Okay, second motorized is still under strength, uh, but uh, refueling in Minsk currently, and that's probably all the fuel that we were going to be getting. And then we will try another assault here. I think we will we'll start with actually getting the infantry getting the infantry except for these guys to begin the assault in the north here and we will send second motorized south down as well to reinforce to reinforce that attack and it looks like we will have we will be struggling to break through here but we've got uh, tank reserves, and I don't think uh, von Manteuffel has the reserves. So we'll see if if our if our troops can make the breakthrough here, as well as um, uh, Tsar Boris of uh, Bulgaria uh, is dead. Okay, uh, we'll see with the assistance of the tanks if we can manage to break the German divisions here in the swamps and uh, the trunks haven't even arrived yet they're still refueling they're still refueling in minsk so uh, uh, we've got our work cut out for us this is uh yeah von manteuffel is engaged here it's got four divisions dug in in the swamp and uh just because it's a swamp the assaults is 
the assaults are very, very different, uh, very, very difficult to make happen. We're relying on air on air su aerial superiority basically here. But uh, maybe we stop supporting with the marine divisions and try another assault across the river at the same time and support that here and see if that's going to work out with some artillery support from the south we might be able to break through there uh, tanks are rolling in uh, we are yeah we are missing uh, so we are missing we are not producing self-propelled artillery i'd be very surprised if we didn't uh, are we not did i did i delete that somewhere Where's the SU-122? SU uh, KV-1s, IS-2s, uh, IS... Why am, I, why am I having two lines of IS-2? That is weird, but okay. Uh, I'll roll with it. In that case, we can probably stop the KV-1 production, to be fair. Uh, okay, let's stop the KV-1 production. We've got two... Did I ch change that to IS-2s by accident? That would be very, very... That would be very, very unfortunate. Because, yeah, we, we are not producing the bruising flame tanks. But we've, we've lost our... Oh, dear. I made a mistake, I believe. Uh, the SU-122A. We've lost them somewhere. Uh, you've probably been screaming... I am recording a little ahead at this point. You've probably been screaming... Uh, screaming at the... Um, uh, you've probably been, been screaming at the, the screen for a couple of episodes by now. <laughs> Uh, and Terry, you stopped production of the um, of the SU uh, SU one one twenty two. Uh, that is very unfortunate. Uh, how are we on? Okay, we are low on tungsten, so we're gonna need to trade more uh, more tungsten. Okay, to get that production up, uh, we are trying to get across the river in the north. It's uh, less than successful. Um, Okay, I do have to delete that front line, uh, that fallback line here. Otherwise, my tank divisions are gonna gonna run away. But uh, we're we're not getting anywhere in the swamp here, and it looks like the river crossing to the north is not really happening either. Uh, von Manstein is dug in very well there, and I think all the marine divisions have failed in their assault. So let's stop the attack. Adaptable army is done. Uh, I've still got three marine divisions here. Uh, launch another tank assault. And uh, let the marine divisions recover. And then we'll, we'll, we'll try that again. Uh, how is it looking here? Um, we've got the tanks engaged. But uh, uh, these... Uh, actually, some of these... Uh, some of these appear to be... Uh, no, our tank divisions cannot be breached, so uh, the the in infantry has no way of dealing with the tanks, and we need another we need another uh, another national focus. More planes uh, expand aviation institutes. Yep, we'll we'll keep focusing on the air on the airplanes by now. Uh, what's the what's the Soviet air force? The Soviet air force is still mostly red, but the red army is starting to become a force to be reckoned with. Uh, unfortunately, that does not translate to success on the battlefield because we are still trying to push the Germans out of that darn swamp here. So let's keep throwing a couple more fresh divisions into the fray and see if we can make the breakthrough here. And it looks like uh, we have once again s uh, failed to breach here. Let's see if we can do the river attack against the northern barriers and support the attack from the rear with any uh, any artillery you have and here as well support the assault but it looks like uh it looks like we are not getting through uh we're not getting through these we're not getting through these lines so let's pull let's pull the let's pull the first motorized out again um uh, so, uh, no we we'll give them we'll We'll give them another fallback line and let them uh, let them recover, because the amount of supply that we're taking here is is just too bad. Uh, attack from the north has failed as well, uh, so second motorized. Yeah, we're fighting out of supply, so second motorized again. Uh, fall back further, 
Second motorized, fall back to Vitebsk for now. And we'll see if we can we can uh, make this happen with artillery. So, uh, with artillery, with infantry. Because at least they will have supply. And uh, they might have a chance to... to uh, we'll, 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 we'll try again an assault here. So, let's, in, uh, except for these divisions, let's throw everybody into the assault there. Uh, construction 5 is finished, nice. And give support from the north and see if we can if we can throw von Bock out from his swamp here. Uh, which this is again in Belarus, so we need to get uh, we need to get our air back focused here. It is a it is a long and arduous fight. And I think I'm just gonna go with uh, excavation techs now at this point. So let's finish these up. It is a long and arduous fight, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can to try and break through. Yeah, this attack here has, f has failed and uh, the marine divisions are struggling to, are struggling to get across. They've taken some losses. Uh, well, they've taken quite severe losses actually, trying to get across the river there. Because there's five dug in German divisions that we just can't get out. But uh, we will launch, we will keep launching attacks and we will keep trying to, uh, trying to break their, to break their defenses here. Uh, do we have a railway gun in position? Actually, we can't because there's no railway up there. So I don't think that railway gun is effective. Uh, we should have one in the north. Yeah, there's one here which is going to cover it. So we might have some success with, uh, with the railway guns here. But uh, the attacks in the north, we will just have to keep, keep throwing, keep throwing them, keep throwing at them, and uh, uh, we'll see if we can make the breakthrough here. <laughs> it's been, it's been go the heavy battles have been going on for for a long time, trying to trying to break Army Group Center. Uh, we're almost a year in, once again. But it looks like we might finally have the success that we need. Uh, bring the marine divisions back, uh, try to cross the rivers and uh, keep keep reinforcing the at assault in the north and try to push these German divisions out. We will launch a pinning attack here just to make sure they don't reinforce. That's three divisions here. There are 11 German divisions in the south here. But uh, we, will, we will do what we can to keep the attack in the south going. Even if we can't cross in the south, we are at least, uh, we are at least pinning the divisions here. Nope, keep, keep, attacking, keep attacking in the south. And it looks like the infantry might be able to do what the, uh, what the tanks have not been able to. And we have free construction capacity. Um, How's our radar coverage? Uh, we can we can improve that since we added uh, just along the lines for now. Uh, there, okay. It gives the factory something to do, but it looks like the infantry might be able to do what the uh, what the armored forces have not been able to, which is to which is to break the German forces out, um, break the German forces in in the north of this line. And we'll just have to keep pinning them in the south until we have until we have taken the positions there. Uh, full, completely exhausted Soviet divisions are throwing themselves uh, onto the onto the potential river crossing just to give their comrades an opportunity in the north. And it looks like, yes, we have managed to get them through. Okay, now now comes the final push, comrades. Uh, the final the final attack. And I'm gonna need all the divisions I can. Nope, go through here and attack everybody on the assault here. Uh, we will assist from the south, but we will have to try and get these German divisions uh, get these German divisions removed here. And I need all divisions here on the front line. Everybody, ca yeah, some of them, some of you can hold, but uh, these they are exhausted. Uh, so are we, but the Germans are also exhausted. Throw fresh divisions into the fray as soon as they become available. And keep attacking across the river from the south. Uh, five German divisions uh, are moving off. There are ten left. 
but uh, we keep uh, we keep throwing the attack in. Is this this is this is the same? Yeah, I think that's the same the same province. So bring me fresh divisions from the north. No, not through there. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, but through here and into the f into the front lines. Everybody into the front lines. Uh, the Germans are starting to retreat out of this position, and. I believe we have almost... Okay, we need another pinning attack in the north here to keep these divisions on point. Also here, these divisions need to be pinned. And we have managed the encirclement of Army Group Center. After a year, two years of fighting, the Soviets have made a major breakthrough. We have encircled... I can't even tell. I think we have encircled about about um, 126 German divisions out of a total of Army Group Center, out of a total of uh, 445. So about half the German armed forces have been encircled after many, many unsuccessful attempts and many losses, high losses of life. We have encircled the majority of the German armed forces in uh, that was concentrated in Army Group Center uh, the freshly brought up marine divisions have helped and now it is just a matter of uh, destroying the remains of this encircled German army. We'll need to reorganize all these front lines. Uh, I'll do that between episodes because it's quite grindy, but uh, that is a major, major breakthrough on the western flank. And I would say towards the end of 1943 that this is the, going to be the end of the German, uh, of the German Reich. From here on out, uh, I don't think they have anything to stop Soviet offensive operations. That was a hard fight. I'll give him that. Uh, in these swamps, in the center, that was a hard fight, but we eventually broke them. And uh, it were the men on the ground, the infantry, that has managed to get through and uh, encircle Army Group Center and ring the death, death bell for the German army. And that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.